Hi everyone, I'm Shireen and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn 10 really common, useful expressions used by native speakers. If you use these, it will really help with your fluency in English. So stick around till the end if you want to learn these expressions and how and when to use them. The expressions we're going to look at today are called binomials. What's a binomial? A binomial is a pair of two words that are connected by a conjunction. It's usually and or or. And what's special about these is that they can't be flipped around. So the two words are fixed in their position. For example, salt and pepper. You would never, ever, 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 ever hear a native speaker say pepper and salt. It's not natural. It, it just sounds foreign to our ears. We would always say salt and pepper. So as we go through these binomials, I want you to remember that the position of the words is fixed. You can't flip them. I mean, you can, but it would just sound really strange. So I don't recommend that you do. You will hear these expressions all the time, everywhere. They are so common in our day-to-day -day language. So let's go ahead and take a look at them. The first one is bits and pieces. Bits and pieces means an assortment of small things, many small things. So if I dropped a dish, it would probably break into bits and pieces. Another way I could use this is, I still have a few bits and pieces I need to get done before Christmas. That means I might need to go do some shopping, I might need to send some Christmas cards. Those are the bits and pieces I have left to do. Number two, give or take. Give or take means approximately plus or minus a small amount, and I'm not sure of that amount. So I could say, she's five foot tall, give or take a few inches. So I'm guessing she's five foot tall, maybe a little less, a little bit more, give or take, she's five foot tall. The flight will cost us a hundred dollars, give or take. That means it might be a little bit more or a little bit less than a hundred dollars. I'm not too sure, but it won't be very much, just a couple dollars. Number three, more or less. More or less is very similar to give or take, but there's a slight difference. Usually give or take is quantity and more or less is for an idea. So sometimes they're interchangeable. For example, I could say the flight will cost us $100 more or less. That's the same meaning as give or take. More or less can mean to a certain extent. So dogs are more or less friendly. That means most dogs are friendly. Some of them aren't, but more or less dogs are friendly. I more or less understand the directions. That means I get it mostly. There's a little bit that I don't understand, but for the most part, I understand. Number four, sick and tired. When you're sick and tired of something, that means that you're bored of it or you're not going to accept it anymore. So when you get sick and tired of waking up for work every day, it's probably time that you go on a vacation. I'm sick and tired of all the plastic packaging at supermarkets. I think that they should find a better alternative. I'm sick and tired of it. Number five is my favorite, live and learn. Live and learn is used when we've had an experience or we've done something and it was a mistake. And we're basically trying to say like, oops, I made a mistake, but I'm not going to do it again. I've lived and now I'm going to learn. Yesterday, I got caught speeding and I got a ticket. Oh well, live and learn. I told her a secret and she ended up telling the whole office live and learn. Number six, safe and sound. 
Safe and sound means safely, in good condition, without damage. I want to make sure that you get home safe and sound, so please send me a message once you arrive. Once the airline lost my luggage, but it was returned to me safe and sound the next day. Number seven, sooner or later. Sooner or later means that it's going to happen eventually, but you're not sure exactly when, but you're certain it's going to happen. You just don't know when. The truth always comes out sooner or later, so it's best not to tell lies. If you practice your English every day, sooner or later you'll see improvement. So that means eventually you will notice the improvements. Number eight, out and about. Out and about means going out and doing different things, going different places, doing different things. So on the weekends, I enjoy going out and about. Sometimes I enjoy staying in, but I usually enjoy going out and about. If you've just had surgery, the doctor might recommend that you don't go out and about. In fact, he might say you need to rest for two weeks before you go out and about, for example. Number nine, peace and quiet. Peace and quiet doesn't necessarily mean absolute silence. It just means to not be disturbed, tranquility. So after a long week at work, you might just want a little peace and quiet. You could make an appointment at a spa if you're in need of some peace and quiet. Sometimes you'll hear this as a wish. All I need is some peace and quiet. If your children were being really noisy, you could say, all I need is some peace and quiet, please. And number 10, on and off. On and off means intermittently, once in a while. So it rained on and off all day today. That means it started raining and then it stopped, it started, then it stopped, it started, then it stopped. It rained on and off all day today. He works part-time right now, so his schedule is a bit on and off. That means he works sometimes and he doesn't work some other times. It's a bit unpredictable. So there you go. There are 10 expressions, 10 binomials that are used all the time in English. I hope that you've learned something new and that it's something useful for you. And I want you to remember that the best way to remember something, the best way to store something in your memory for use is to actually use it. So I want you to try your best to bring these into your conversation and at the very least, write them down. So if there were any in this video that you didn't already know, try them in a sentence in the comments. You don't have to do all of them. Just pick one or two or three or four and try them in sentences. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to post a lot more videos like this. And if you're not following me on Instagram, go find me over there. My username is at an English nerd. I post lots of tips there. See you next time. Bye.